Let right? me, let me. Yeah, can you can you chime in? Yeah, I was gonna chime in and say, uh, because I, I'm at, actually at work, I'm in the parking lot. So mm -hmm. I have to, I'm doing a, we're doing our, our COVID clinics and things. So I gotta, oh, okay. I gotta jump back in there shortly. So, um, okay. uh, but I just wanna say, your perspective is interesting uh, that, uh, you know, that the women are protecting the men. So they're saying, it's okay to commit a crime against me. I will protect you. Uh, I, I like to think that that's not necessarily what comes up when a woman is assaulted. Now, Star Fury's uh, uh, thing was uh, black women been treated worse than black men. And so I, I don't know, the two are separate, but just, just speaking women as a whole in society, I, I just think that it's just, it's just been propagated throughout life, throughout time, where the women been treated as a second-class citizen. Uh, not to mention that Blacks have been placed in certain categories to do things, but women have fought hard to get gain rights. Look at the, the 26th Amendment. Look at other things, mm -hmm. giving women rights in this country to be recognized as a human being. Um, I, I just think that there's so many people still carrying you know, yesterday's version of what a woman is mm -hmm. that it, it just is standard. It's the standard quo. This is the way it is. This is who you are. That's how we're going to treat you. I think it's also a level of social economic levels of abuse taking place. Uh, women who are, I've actually seen this take place where that women who were struggling on uh, certain uh, welfare programs were told by people, listen, I could make your life better, but you need to do this. And they're like, well, I don't want to necessarily participate in that. Yeah. But if you don't, you, you'll get nothing. And they are then subject to a lot of abuse and other things and told that if no one's going to believe you because you have no status, you have no worth, you have no nothing. Unlike someone who uh, is higher up on the socioeconomic ladder will not be treated the same way because of their influence because their their uh, you know status and who they know and what they know and can do, and take it from there. Uh, I I just think yeah, there's a whole lot of mixed up craziness, unfairness here. But I just like to think with black women allowing a black man, I've seen it where that black men have done things to black women and and there was no well I'm not you, you abused me so therefore I'm going to protect you because. We don't want you continuously being hurt. And this is why you're lashing out. Uh, yes, I've seen times where Black men have been given opportunity to repent, but yet do not change. And so, you know, they have to suffer the consequences. Um, but as far as, you know, the quality of all this, and the Black women, Black men who's getting treated better, Black men, we get treated poorly. Uh, you know, there have been times when <clears throat> I was stopped and then I say, you know, when I present myself, then all of a sudden I get treated differently. I'm thinking, wow, had I not presented myself and, you know, what would have happened then? And so I don't, I don't play that card because I don't want to take the chance to figure out what will happen if someone just think you're just another black man. So we're going to take advantage of you and do whatever the case is. But it's, it's yeah, there's a lot of. So, the, well, and, and number, uh, Dr. Dyer, I just want to let you know, we're going to be moving per your request, and I heard you. Uh, we Next week, we'll be moving to 8 o'clock, so give y'all time to, to, on the West Coast to jump on, all right? Okay. And uh, uh, Mr. Nico said, Brother Nico says hi. <laughs> all right. So, all right well, hey, guys, I'm going to have to jump back in here. Yeah, go I, ahead. Go I, ahead. That, I'm not, I mean, I'm going to have to leave, but, uh, you know, so, but... Uh, if I can, I'll just put it on the background and just listen in without video, if I can, and then kind of go from there. All right. And, you can, and, and he always, he's recording it, so he always uh, has the video. Yeah. Okay. Right. Good. Yeah. Good. So, All right, guys. Good. Thanks, Doctor Darrow. Thank you for All your right. thank you for your input. Input. Yeah. You're okay. All right. Bye. So it's something that Doctor Darrow just said is is really um, key because. He said that, um, you know, he's, he's comparing it to 
uh, uh, the topic when you tell me my topic is 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 black women why black women are treated harshly than uh, black men. Now, you mentioned something in there going going back to if, if I remember, you say you're going back to uh, the way that women has always been treated that way. You know, it's just, it's just, it's just common. Even Crystal, you said that. But I want to specifically talk uh, about the black woman in general, because there's a couple of things I want to, and I was going to mention this earlier. There's two things that come to mind when we talk about the, dispar the disparity of, of not only black women versus, uh, again, uh, when you put it against Asian women or a black man, but white women in general, pretty much. And I probably should have made the topic of not just black black men. What I was just trying to say is why do black women suffer the most? That's pretty much what I was trying to say in the topic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And and it goes back to two things. One, slavery, of course. Mm -hmm. And if you look at uh, Timot Hill, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When a white woman said, that young boy mm -hmm. whistled at me, mm -hmm. knowing it was a lie and he died. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And she confessed at, on her death, I think it was her deathbed she confessed, right? Mm -hmm. That Look at that. And then, and then again, fast forward to the 70s, 80s, and 90s. That's, that type of mentality that Emmett Till suffered during the Jim Crow era slavery days still happening now. It's like, uh, well, I won't say now in a way, but previously it does. It, it happens does now. Why do you think areas. they? Yeah. Well, you saw the other day, not too long ago, when the when the man was asking the woman to put her dog on the leash, and she called help, screaming help. This man is trying to harass me. That's the same freaking thing that happened back then. And, and that's the what I want to get at. No, so, so he had it recorded. Yeah, there's devices to record it. They would have come down to him. Look at the 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 five guys, look young boys that that went to jail. Yes, for attacking a woman in the park that they never even touched the, the, or the knew. Central Park Five is that? Yes. Right? Yeah. Look, that's today. Yeah, that's today. So, I, you know, we as black women having our hands tied huh? and watching this stuff. For our entire life, lifetimes, lifetimes. I'm not saying that black men are justified in, in, in perpetrating violence on any woman, not black, not blue, not whatever. But I am saying that it has effect on your mental state when you've been enslaved Watch your woman raped, given babies to the slave master, yeah. pulled away from your family, destroyed the whole, you know, mm -hmm. doc, you know, Dr. Daryl, he, he's right about, you know, he, he, he likes to compare or like to put in economics in it, mm -hmm. depending on where you are economically. But as we see, People that are economically um, in a position to remove themselves, they sometimes do. And that's what they do. But to be honest, you could have all the money in the world. That's not going to stop you from being stopped by the police. Right. And that's not going to stop you from being harassed or beat or even killed. It's not, we've seen it on so many occasions that money only has so much to do with it. Even our mentality, as far as money goes. I mean, I could be in a higher social economic, that it doesn't hurt me any less to see a black man being killed on the street. It doesn't hurt me any less to see uh, the injustices because I have money and I could remove myself from the general environment. I can never remove myself from being black. Well, look at what well, well, this this and, and I agree with you, Crystal. I mean, look at um, Breonna Taylor. Yes. You know, as she, hard working young woman. Has, yeah. has she seen justice? Has, has justice came her way? She there was were a lot of protests. A lot of protests, right? And and but has justice came her way for what they've done? I mean, they try to charge the boyfriend to this day, saying it was his fault. 
She, I heard, I heard, I remember reading somewhere months ago that, um, that she would have, she, someone wrote, she wouldn't have died if she wasn't a, affiliated with, with her boyfriend or pretty much a boyfriend uh, because she was affiliated with a boyfriend. That's the reason she died. I, I remember it was a teacher that said that. They always, they, there's yeah. always, there's always some hidden excuse. Yes. The main reason why, why they were in there and they went in there without knocking, they, what they did is because they were entering a black person's home. How many times do we see them enter white people's home and do that? Yeah. And so that's, that's why, that's why I want to talk about this topic. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm not an expert. I'm not a woman, so I'm not an expert. It's, well, I'm, I'm an expert on being a woman. <laughs> <laughs> and I know and that, you know, it, it, it has very little to do with my socioeconomic status. It has a lot to do with my heart. Yes. Just like your, your group here. It has to do with the heart, you know, um, I can't remove myself from it. Even if I had trillions of dollars and a lot of people out there can't, even the ones with money, they can't remove themselves. Kaepernick couldn't remove himself. A lot of the other um, athletes couldn't remove themselves. I, I listened to a girl today that was on the NCAA basketball team. She quit her job to go out and protest against what the Atlanta politicians were doing to voting. Yeah. She quit. After, you know, after she, they, 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 because they, they pushed people, the Democrats. That's right. There's people that's wired to handle this stuff. You know, there's other people that sit on the sidelines. Some people reap the benefits. Some people, other people fight. I mean, that's just the way we're wired. And if God, who our God is, puts it on our heart, to be one of the people that fight, you know, to stand on the front line, then that's on my heart. And you can't take that away from me. You know, I can't, you can't buy that. Right. That is not for sale. Okay. That's not for sale. That's something that is embedded in me. And it was embedded in me from a small child. Thank God. I mean, I, and I don't regret it one. I don't regret being black. I don't regret having feelings for uh, black people and, 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 and trying to understand things from all perspectives, whether you be poor or whether you be rich, <laughs> it doesn't matter to me. If I see injustice, in, injustice is injustice. And I don't care what form or nature or who you are, where it comes from, or where it's going. I do understand, though, that all of this injustice perpetrated upon Black people, I don't care if it's today, tomorrow, yesterday, whenever, it causes us to have this um, uh, this mindset, the one that, what did you say, the SP, what is, I keep forgetting now to say that. PTSD. PTSD. Traumatic it, stress. It is. It's PTSD and it's related to what we see over and over again and what's happening to us. And this is another reason why we also believe in reparations because we, we're not gonna resolve that. Mental illness, it's a mental illness. How can it not be? I mean, I saw a study the other day. I saw them study and seeing kids from social, lower sexual, socioeconomic groups and how they think actually they measure the what was going on inside their brains. I heard this on the news, measured it, and it's di it's different. It's different the way they rationalize things. It's different the way they see things. It's different the way they manage their thinking and handle things. It is because all of their lives has been a struggle, and I'm not saying black people are the only ones to struggle. This you know. Uh, Abraham showed us that film where the white people in South Africa are treated on the lower social socioeconomics yes. are treated differently, but the people in charge are still ultimately the white man. They are, and those people were not treated that way because of their skin color. They were treated that way for other reasons. <laughs>